Liberians and lawmakers gathered in Brooklyn Park to celebrate the new law that gives people from the West African country a pathway to U.S. citizenship. Reporter Sonia Goins joins us now with more. Sonia? Shannon, last month President Trump signed the National Defense Authorization Act, which includes a provision to grant green cards to Liberians who fled decades of civil war and the 2014 Ebola outbreak. On Saturday night, Liberians rejoiced and gave thanks for their new sense of freedom. The Community Activity Center in Brooklyn Park was filled with laughter, music, and a sense of relief. It's like such a major relief. It's like a big, big weight that has been lifted off our shoulders. Several dignitaries were on hand, including U.S. Representative Dean Phillips. This room is so beautiful for a lot of reasons, in no small part, though, because of what it shows the country. Phillips called it one of the most joyful times of his tenure and says it wasn't about politics, but instead about keeping families together. It's a wonderful example uh, of what a community can do together. It wasn't about politics, it wasn't about Democrats and Republicans, it was about doing what's right. U.S. Senator Tina Smith worked with the Liberian community to help get the legislation passed. Not only are we out of this limbo that so many of our neighbors have been living in for so many years, but we have a path to citizenship in five years. But for many people in the crowd, the celebration was decades in the making. Today is a big deal for me. I am blessed. I am happy. Magdalene Manyangar lives in Maple Grove. She came to the United States in 1994 after the Civil War in Liberia. This will make me to be able to go back home and see my mom and see my siblings that I've been separated from for all these years. She worried about deportation because her Liberian protected status was about to expire. So how was school today? And her 18-year-old American daughter would be left here alone. Liberian people are the strongest and most determined people in this country. Magdalene says her future is much brighter. She will apply for a green card. She also wants to go back to college to become a nurse. That was the best Christmas ever because I have waited for this so long. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services is accepting green, green card applications until December 20th, 2020. Liberians are not eligible if they've been convicted of any aggravated felonies. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.